Hello and welcome to the Pennsylvania Association for College Admission Counseling Keystone Virtual College Exploration. This program is a partnership between StriveScan and PACAC for all Pennsylvania students. My name is Liz Frasini. I'm a college counselor at Wyoming Seminary and I'm also the chair of the College Fairs Committee for PACAC. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items to share with you. Uh, we are using the webinar feature of Zoom, so you will not be able to use your microphone or video and they will be muted for the duration of the presentation. If you have questions for the presenters, please enter them in the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen and they'll make sure to get to your questions before the end of the session. Additionally, you signed up for today's session at the PACAC website. Uh, we welcome you to visit the additional sessions from through November 6th and sign up for additional presentations that you're interested in hearing about. And also there, there will be a recording of today's session. So if you'd like to view that recording or any others, you can do so at www.pacac.org slash virtual. And now I will turn it over to your host for today's presentation. Thanks, Liz. So I'll go ahead and share my screen and do a little intro. My name is Becca Thomas. I'm an admissions team lead at Columbus College of Art and Design in Columbus, Ohio. And I'm here today just to chat with you a little bit about what CCAD has to offer, especially if you're interested in art and design. We have some really cool majors here, a lot of different career options. Um, and my role as an admissions counselor is to really help you figure out if we are the right place for you. Um, so we'll cover things like the application process. We'll touch on financial aid, hopefully in a brief and helpful way um, that can kind of get you ready for the next steps. Um, so some quick facts uh, before we get into the facts, actually, if you do want to get in contact with us sooner than uh, we get your info from attending today, feel free to scan this QR code and that will bring you to an online info form that um, just gets a little bit of info about uh, yourself to us so that we can connect you with an admissions counselor and help with any next steps. There's also uh, an email on there as well, which is a good place to reach out if you have general questions, and then the admissions page on our website as well. But again, we'll be able to follow up later on, um, especially if you ask any questions or anything tonight. So some quick facts about CCAD. We are one of the oldest art and design schools in the country. We just celebrated our 141st birthday. And we've been in Columbus that whole time, really a fixture in the creatives community here. And we have a really big alumni network that is ready to help you fill their shoes someday. Um, the nice thing, though, uh, about CCAD is that we're on the small side, so about 1,100 students, and what that means is that your classes are going to be 15 students on average. We don't have any big lecture halls. Your studio spaces and labs will be nice and small so you can get to know your faculty and classmates really well. Um, and so that balances out to about a nine to one student to faculty ratio. So if that's important for you, um, then definitely give CCAD uh, consideration. And even though we are a small school located in central Ohio, we do bring in students from all over the country and all over the world. So <clears throat> if you're looking for a really creative community um, that has a lot of diverse backgrounds, artists from all over the globe, uh, then again, CCAD might be the right fit for you. We offer 11 different bachelors of fine arts degrees in everything from animation to fine arts, advertising and graphic design. Our newest major for this fall is game art and design. Um, and I know if, especially if you're an artistic person, sometimes it can be hard to figure out where exactly you want to focus your talents. And also some students might have taken painting classes or drawing classes at school or on their own, but you might be interested in fashion or animation and just have never had the opportunity to explore that. So in these next couple slides, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the type of work that you would do in some of these majors and how they might align with some of your interests. <clears throat> So ultimately, um, as a creator, as an artist, it's really important to think about what you want to create every single day. If you find yourself interested in original characters, storytelling, 
building worlds. Maybe you've got a whole sketchbook full of original characters that you've had with you since you were a kid that you've just been constantly evolving. Um, if you find yourself identifying with those kinds of things, then one of these four majors might be the right fit for you. Our animation major is one of our most popular here at CCAD. Uh, our comics and narrative practice major involves any type of sequential arts. Game art and design, as I kind of mentioned, is our newest major for fall 2020. Um, this was our first incoming class um, this year. And then illustration as well is gonna involve really any type of uh, broad illustration, <clears throat> any type of medium. You might find yourself working in fashion as an illustrator, editorial illustration. You could become a character and asset designer uh, for gaming. There's so many different routes that you can go down um, just by picking one of these majors. And all of the work that you see on these next couple of slides is current student or alumni work. So even if you see the work up on the screen and think, I can't do that, or that's way beyond my skill set, just know that these are current CCAD students and they built their way up to these types of projects um, just from what they learned at CCAD. And so we really wanna focus on the types of careers that you can get into after you graduate. If you know you want a creative career, then an art school like CCAD is really gonna give you the faculty, the facilities, the time to dedicate to your artwork. About two thirds of your course load will be art and design specific classes. And then that last third will be liberal arts classes. So really the majority of your time over the four years you'll spend here are gonna be doing what you wanna be doing. Um, and so that can lead you into tons of careers that you might be able to imagine and other things you might not even have thought were possible. Um, one of our most famous alum is Dan Scanlon, who worked his way up in Disney, um, or sorry, Pixar animation. He started as a storyboard artist on Cars and Toy Story 3, and eventually built up enough of a skill set that he became the director of Monsters University. And he actually uh, even directed and co-wrote Pixar's latest feature, Onward, which is a really good movie if you haven't seen it yet. And so Dan is a great example of what a lot of our animation students strive to do, which is work in the film industry. And so he's just one of many connections that we have in the industry from Pixar to Disney, DreamWorks, and everything in between. But we even have students take their animation skills to other realms. Uh, we have a couple of alum that work for an agency in Columbus called Little Seed that works with Nationwide's children, Nationwide Children's Hospital to create virtual reality uh, kind of fully immersive experiences for children that are going through different types of medical treatments, basically as a way to distract them. So that can be a really cool way to take the animation, the game skills that you learn at CCAD and apply them to a totally different field um, than you might have first pictured. And all of the careers on this screen as well are places that our students and alum are currently working. <clears throat> So we definitely want to profile a couple more specific student stories as we go through this presentation. Logan Schmidt is one of my favorite Instagram follows. Definitely check out Logan Schmidt illustration if you're into any type of digital illustration. And he's a great example of somebody who knew that they wanted to work for themselves. He's a full-time freelancer currently and has made enough of a name for himself in the music industry that he's done band posters for Ray LaMontagne, Van Morrison, Dave Matthews Band, Slightly Stupid, just to name a few. And he got his start by just making posters for bands that came through Columbus and then trying to get them sold at their shows. And eventually, again, he built up enough of a name for himself that he gets to do this full time. And he's another example of finding an aesthetic that you can really own and a branding and style that you can really stick with. Um, so when you see his work, you immediately know that it's Logan. And then Shea Beagle um, is a comics and narrative practice grad from CCAD. Shea took our Spitball Comics Anthology class at CCAD. Uh, the, basically, they come together as a class and create a comic book called Spitball, hence the name. Um, and in that class, students get paired up with professional writers to create a five-page comic from start to finish. So they get to learn the entire process of creating sequential art from the initial brainstorming, concepting, character development, 
into the actual storytelling, storyboarding, um, and then they come together as a class and create the final production, um, which then gets sold online and at our Ampersand Emporium bookstore on campus. And Shay uh, came up with this concept for Moonstruck about a werewolf barista and ended up selling that uh, comic idea to Image Comics as an eight part series. They just released the third or the fourth, I believe, at Image Comics. Uh, definitely give it a Google if you like comics and you can buy Moonstruck um, out in the real world now. So a student kind of taking what they started at CCAD and applying it into a full-time job after they graduated. <clears throat> Our next grouping of majors is gonna be great for students who like the idea of creating products, spaces, really tangible things that people can experience and immerse themselves in. So if that sounds like something kind of intriguing to you, then one of these four majors might be uh, the right fit. So interior architecture and design could be anything from residential to retail, corporate. Uh, it's really focused on how you interact with the space in a way that's functional for the users that need it. Our industrial design students do all types of product design, everything from furniture to medical supplies, to shoes, to basically anything you see around you on the table or in your living room or wherever you may be. Um, probably had an industrial designer helping figure out what materials it's made out of, uh, what size it should be to fit within the space that it is. All of these really cool problem solving things come from a designer um, originally. <clears throat> Fashion design students go on to work in everything from corporate um, to uh, avant-garde costume design, wedding design. Uh, our students get access to all different types of forms. So they can do plus size women's wear, men's wear, children's wear, all the wears, <laughs> um, and can bind them into eventually a senior collection, which is a three to six piece collection of whatever they want. Um, so that's a really cool fashion show that we have at the end of the year. Definitely another thing worth Googling if you're into fashion. You can watch the whole fashion show from last year on our website. And then <clears throat> last but not least, our advertising and graphic design degree is so much more than just logos and branding. Students go on to be copywriters, photographers, work in web and app development, um, pretty much any part of communication that involves images or illustrations and type you can probably find our alumni doing. Um, so that's a great major if you wanna kind of experiment with a lot of different mediums and figure out how they can all come together for really cohesive uh, universal branding campaigns. So um, a couple more job opportunities you might find from some of these majors. We have alum that work right in our backyard at Abercrombie & Fitch, which is headquartered here in Columbus. A lot of people don't know this, but Columbus has the third highest concentration of fashion jobs in the US. Uh, and that's more than just fashion design, that's uh, creative studios, that's photographers, videographers, web designers, animators. There's so many corporations based here in Columbus from Victoria's Secret, DSW, Bath and Body Works, um, Justice for Girls, Eloquy, which is a plus size brand. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So all of those uh, companies have creative departments that are looking to hire from our graduates for a variety of roles. Um, we also have a lot of alum who go on to create their own product lines and businesses, everything from vegan handbags to shoes, which we'll talk about in the next um, slide. <clears throat> and then last but not least, that photo in the bottom right hand corner is a great example of how industrial designers take the problem solving and creativity they learn and apply it to a wide variety of industries. Um, so Chris Walters worked for Little Tykes for many years, uh, working on basically toy cars for kids, and then went on to work for Ford as the lead, the lead designer for the Ford Fusion. So in the skills that he had in his back pocket and the ingenuity that he was able to start to foster at Little Tykes, led to a career in real human adult size cars. So really cool example of just where your career can take you over the years. 
A couple more alumni stories. Susanna Madrid is another great Instagram follow if you're into fashion. Um, Susanna was a graduate of our fashion design program and then moved to Italy for grad school to further her fashion education. Got the opportunity to work for a shoe designer there and eventually just fell in love with the artistry, the production that goes into creating fine, uh, you know, beautiful handcrafted shoes. Now she owns her own shoe line um, under her name and you can find her shoes online or at a couple different boutiques all over the globe and even right in our backyard at Thread Boutique in Grandview, which is only a couple miles from our campus. So she's a great person to look up to if you're interested in being an entrepreneur after you finish up at CCAD. And last but not least, for students that want to really focus on what you might traditionally think of as fine art, uh, if you want to explore lots of different mediums and styles with your art, really focus on theory and a range of kind of the cultural influences that art can bring to us then one of these last couple majors could be the right fit for you. Um, <clears throat> so we've got photography, film and video, and fine arts. Our photography students do digital and darkroom photography. Both photography and film have their own dedicated studio spaces with lighting equipment. For film, they have sound uh, equipment as well, tons of cameras, lenses that you'll get access to after a couple of prerequisite classes. Um, and students oftentimes go out and use the city of Columbus as a backdrop as well. Um, our fine arts students are doing everything from painting, drawing, printmaking, ceramics. Uh, we even offer glass blowing, jewelry making, um, pretty much anything uh, in the fine arts realm our students are doing. Um, and that's one of our majors where students get their own studio spaces as well. Um, there's a shared studio space for freshmen and sophomores and then juniors um, and seniors have their own dedicated little studio spaces on our campus, which is really nice when you're trying to build a capstone project, um, which leads us into another great thing about our campus. We have four student galleries on campus. So by the time you're a senior, you'll do your own exhibition of whatever you want it to be. It could be mixed media. It could be any type of subject matter, social issue that you want to talk about with your artwork. Um, and you'll display that at one of our four student galleries. And then just about a mile from our campus is the Short North Arts District, which has over 16 different galleries. They have got a great gallery hop once a month where you can visit all the galleries um, late into the evening and they've got music and food and all types of fun things. So I've talked a little bit about the creative community here in Columbus, but it's great to have that right in our backyard, especially for fine artists. And our last couple kind of uh, career profiles. Um, again, these are majors that um, being a freelancer or a small business owner is really popular. Um, we've got lots of jewelry designers coming out of this major. Um, we've got Megan Mathy, who's a really well-respected glass blower and does these really cool ornamental glass um, gifts called Happy Thought Bubbles. We've got some t-shirt designers amongst us. And then Angelo Thomas is a really incredible novelist, filmmaker. Um, he used his senior capstone project to create a feature-length film based on a novel that he wrote called The Incredible Jake Parker. Um, and he paired up with a fellow CCAD student to create the cover art for that, and then got to premiere his movie at Gateway Film Center here in Columbus. Um, so I am angelothomas.com is his website. Definitely check him out if you're interested in filmmaking. <clears throat> and our last student story is for those of you who might be interested in photojournalism. This is a you know, really cool way to take photography and really focus in on that storytelling component. Um, and Jessica Phelps is a um, photojournalist for the Newark Advocate, um, which was her hometown newspaper. She traveled all over the world after graduating and came back to Newark. Um, to really focus on the stories uh, in the area that she grew up in. So she did a long-term project about an Iraqi family that was settled, resettled in Ohio. Um, the father had been working as a translator for the US military. And she just really wanted to capture 
what it's like to find a new home all the way across the world while still kind of protecting and honoring your own identity, um, but in a new place. So through that project, she actually won Newspaper Photographer of the Year from the Pictures of the Year International Competition, and her work was featured in the New York Times. So if you're really kind of interested in sharing people's stories on a large scale, then the photography major um, could be somewhere that you find a nice home. So I'm talking a lot about careers and I know you might be wondering, like, how do I get to that point? Um, well, don't worry, you are not alone. We have a really wonderful career services office and they can help you with everything from one-on-one -on -one career counseling. Maybe you have a career goal in mind. Say you really wanna work at Pixar or you kind of know the major you, you wanna do but you don't know exactly all the areas that you can take it. They can meet with you one-on-one -on -one to just kind of build out a roadmap for all the things you need to be doing each year of college to set yourself up, set yourself up for success after you graduate. They also update our CCAD job board, which has all types of creative careers in a variety of industries. Um, and you get access to that even after you're a graduated student. So a great one-stop shop for any type of art and design career you might be interested in. Additionally, they host an internship and job fair every year, which is kind of like a college fair, except with employers who are ready to hire and meet with our students. And then they have a recruiting on campus series as well, where we bring uh, companies like General Electric, um, Disney, we've had um, Under Armour come to our campus, just to name a few. And they meet with our students, they do networking events, um, they just get the opportunity to kind of um, recruit from our pool, which is really helpful. And then last but not least, they work a lot with our corporate and community partnerships office, which helps bring um, companies uh, projects with our students directly. So within the last year, we had 24 different community projects through 28 different classes. So over 300 students participated in these. Um, students did everything from redesigning furniture for families in need for the um, Ohio Furniture Bank. We had students create a lookbook for Madison USA, a fashion company here in Columbus. We've done projects with Cardinal Health, um, the Veterans Arts Initiative, which helps bring veterans stories to life through podcasts, film, photo, and those are just to name a few. So our goal is to get you working with real life companies on projects that have deadlines and presentations and proposals um, all while you're still a student. And then oftentimes those can lead to internships and even full-time jobs after you graduate as well. So a couple uh, numbers that are gonna be important to jot down. Um, a lot of times people get scared away from art, art and design schools because they just don't think there are careers. And that's simply not true, especially with the growth of technology in the world, there is still so much need for creative problem solvers, for people who really wanna take the world and make it beautiful, um, just to kind of put it plainly. So 84% of our 2018 grads uh, reported that they were employed within a year of graduating. And of that percentage, 78% uh, said their first job out of school was related to their career goals. So we're not training you for just any old career. We want to help you get into a field that you really want to be in. And about 51% of our students did at least one internship while at CCAD, and about a third of those students received a job offer from that. So internships aren't required for every major, but certainly recommended. And honestly, the more the merrier. If you can get any type of shadowing, internship, even a co-op that's a little bit more immersive, that's where a career services office can help you out. And so these are just a handful of the places that our alumni are working as we speak. And it all started with them choosing to be a CCAD student. I'm gonna let you take a look at that long list and take a quick drink here. But hopefully you've seen a name on this list that you recognize or maybe some that you haven't. And I definitely recommend that you look these places up um, if they catch your eye because chances are we have an alumni working there that really wants to connect with you um, and help you work on their teams um, right alongside them. 
So as we kind of wrap up, I do just want to touch on our campus a little bit. We are located in downtown Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, if you've never been, is actually the 13th or 14th biggest uh, city in the country. So it's got that big city feel, but it's much more approachable, safe. It's really clean. Um, the cost of living is much lower than in other big cities um, that you might be considering for art school. So it's got all of the fun, the resources, the companies um, that you would expect in a big city, but it comes at a lot lower price. Um, and it's just a really approachable city to live in. So the bottom right hand corner, you can see the city at our backdrop. We've got, you can kind of see the edge of our art sign, which is a hundred foot art statue that spells out art right in the middle of our campus. Um, and that big building all lit up is our upperclassmen residence hall. So we do have two on-campus residence halls. Um, one is for incoming students, which you can see the inside um, on the bottom left-hand photo. Um, and those are suite style. So two bedrooms of two students. Um, in a shared bathroom amongst you. There's laundry um, included in your price. There's a gym, there's bike lockups, um, everything you could need right on campus. And then the upper classman residence hall is apartment style. So after your first year, it's up to you if you would like to stay on campus or move off campus, but there's plenty of off-campus apartments right nearby our campus as well. And then there's lots of different organizations that you can join while you're a CCAD student. One of the most popular ones would be the student collective for your major. And basically that's just a chance for you to hang out with other students from your major from all different years. So they bring in alumni speakers, they do extra projects and competitions. Um, they just have fun and hang out together. I know our advertising and graphic design collective tries to go camping once or twice a year as a group. So whatever it is that you're interested in, you can find a student collective or an arts-based um, club that's based around your interests. We've got a couple intramural sports, even student government as well if you wanna get involved that way. We do have a virtual tour on our website, which I would highly recommend checking out. We're not doing in-person tours at the moment, but the virtual tour is a great way to just kind of figure out what it's like to be on our campus. We've got 360 panoramas of a ton of spaces on campus, including the residence hall. Uh, and we do offer walkthroughs with an admissions counselor virtually through uh, the online tour a couple times a month. So check out our admissions page at ccad.edu if you wanna join us for one of those. So if you've heard anything today that caught your eye and you want to know what's next, for those of you that are seniors or if we have any transfer students here, the next step would be to apply to CCAD. Uh, we have three main parts of our application. You're going to need to submit a portfolio of eight to 15 pieces, which I can talk a little bit more about in a second. We also require a 300 to 500 word essay. That's pretty short if you you have written a handful of essays in your life. There's a couple prompts to choose from, but that is just as important as the other parts of the application. And then last but not least, we'll look at your GPA. So the higher your GPA is, the more it's gonna help you. All three of those parts are weighed equally. We are test optional, so we don't require SAT or ACT scores, but you can submit them to us if you would like. Um, if you do come to CCAD, it helps us put you in the right English class, but outside of that, we don't really look at it. Um, you can also give us letters of recommendation, but again, optional. The main thing to keep in mind are the portfolio, essay, and your GPA. And so, Portfolio is probably what freaks students out the most. It's just kind of a big intimidating word. But for us, all a portfolio is is a collection of your work. So that could be anything from photography to paintings, drawings. Maybe you've done ceramics projects or maybe you have character designs that you've created or if you've had access to fashion or animation, even if you like to write, it can be anything artistically creative that tells us more about you. Our application is all online, so you don't have to come in person and present it or print anything out. 
everything is online. So um, our admission staff are happy to do portfolio reviews for you before you apply. There's a couple ways to do that. Um, if you fill out the form um, with the QR code or go to ccad.edu under the admissions tab, there's an admissions events page. And that um, will be where you can schedule a counselor appointment. You can ask specifically for a portfolio review or you can meet us at a virtual national portfolio day. Those are free events that happen on Saturdays and Sundays all through the fall. If you just Google national portfolio day, we'll be at all of them as an admission staff. And you can sign up for 15 minute reviews from schools all over the country. Those are great to just see what different schools are looking for. We have really broad portfolio requirements, but some schools are very specific. They have like a recipe for their portfolio where you need X of this, Y of that. Um, but we try to keep it open-ended so you can show us what you care about most. Um, the deadlines to keep in mind for those of you who are seniors or transfer students, fall 2021 deadlines are December 1st. Basically, if you want an earlier decision, aim to apply by December 1st, but as long as you apply by February 1st, you'll automatically be considered for all of our merit scholarships. And merit scholarships are looking equally at portfolio, essay, and GPA. Those are the three big ones. Um, so you don't have to do anything extra. You don't have to check a secret box or email us separately. If you apply by February 1st, we're gonna consider you for those merit scholarships. Um, we also have need-based grants through the FAFSA, and that's how you would be eligible for loans as well. And the FAFSA is an acronym you will come to know very well if you don't already, but that's the free application for federal student aid. And you just fill that out once and add all the schools that you're interested in attending. And that way, if you do get accepted, we can send you an offer letter that will hopefully have a merit scholarship on it and some need-based grants to help bring the cost down to something that's affordable for you and your family. Ultimately, it's up to you if you wanna apply through our main application at ccad.edu slash apply, or you can apply through the Common App, but do note you will have to upload your portfolio separately um, as well as do our essay part. Um, but the Common App can be a great way to save some time if you're looking at a bunch of different schools. Um, for those of you that aren't quite seniors yet, do still feel free to join us for a counselor appointment or in a national portfolio day. You should also definitely look into a summer pre-college program. We have our own called College Preview, and that's three-week intensive summer program where you get to create college-level work as a high schooler on our campus. You get to make a bunch of new friends. It's super fun. Um, there's details on our website about College Preview as well. And I would just urge you to continue to take art classes at your school, continue to create and try to find what you're most passionate about. When it comes to putting it together a portfolio, we want this to be a snapshot of you. If we know nothing else about you as an artist, that portfolio should really have your uh, style, your interests stamped on it. So again, if you have any further questions about the portfolio, our whole staff are art professionals. We all have art backgrounds ourselves and we just love talking art. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're a small school. We will get to know you very well if you reach out to us and email us. And if you end up getting accepted um, and going through this whole process, we're gonna spend a lot of time getting to know one another. Um, so don't hesitate to reach out. So that wraps up today's uh, presentation. I hope it was broad enough that you get a little bit of a sense for what CCAD is all about, but do uh, keep in mind admissions at ccad.edu is a great place to connect with an admissions counselor if you have further questions. I thank you so much for joining today, and I really hope that I'll see some of y'all on campus soon, and I'll go ahead and pass it back off to Liz to wrap us up.
Thank you so much, Becca. We appreciate you spending time with PACAC and our students in Pennsylvania today. For those of you joining live, there is a quick survey at the end of the session and we appreciate your feedback. If you would like to attend additional sessions through November 6th or view a recording of today's session or any others, you can do so at www.pacac.org slash virtual. Thanks again, Becca. Have a great day.